all right good evening good afternoon good morning and welcome to the stream torts good morning to you good morning let's uh make sure the game doesn't relaunch let me go over here and check did i tweet oh i did not tweet I have now tweeted. All right, let's check audio. Make sure I do this right. Because I, nine out of 10 times I do it wrong. All right, I did that right. What is this? Okay, got it. Oh, Grumpy, how you doing? All right, so let's switch over here. And, um, uh, all right, let's take a look at the mod list here real quick. I had an idea. So, um, waiting for the mod list to come up. I said yes. Seem to be having a browser issue. Great. Copy that. And we'll do it this way then. There we go. All right. So, um, put in Kerbals on each planet. So, um, trying to think of a, Oh, 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 let's try this. So how do I make a new? Oh, right here. Um, we're going to put, we're going to rename this. Uh, landed. Seems good enough. All right, so Kerbin. Mon. Minmus. All right. Um, so Kerbin, we landed on pretty much the, the day we launched this. Not the day, because that was all testing. So I'm going to say, we'll say 11.28. No, 11.29. And then the Mun and Minmus were yesterday. That was 12.5. 12. 12.5. 5. So, um, let's see here, can we do, 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 um, All right, so if I say save as, kind of big, and uh, all right, so let's figure out what I want to do here. So can I import, wait, um, insert or a image into cell. And we'll drag this over. Okay. And okay, it's a little small. Can we make it bigger? Is 
That's not doing. I got itchy, itchy, itchy. All right. Okay, that, that I can't edit that. Whoa, I didn't want to do that. It's too many carbons. All right, there we go. I like that. I don't know what size that is, but I like it. So let's, um, uh, is there any way I can make all the cells represent this size? Is that a formatting thing? Format. Merge cells. I don't want to do that. Um, I don't know how big that is. But if we do, um, no, I don't want to do that. So format, alignment, middle, yes. I don't know why I got so excited about that, but yes. Uh, so if we copy and then paste that, oh, that didn't work because it's that size. So, okay, so if we do this, no, that still didn't work. How do I, um, all right, turn into, turn in the internet. Um, so sheets, Google, um, copy, cell, dimension, size, that's it, size. Add a copy of column, that's in Excel, and, oh, and Google Sheets, all right. Hang on. Really? So if I say copy, whoa copy and then paste special column and width only I did not do what I wanted or maybe it did special dialogue under paste column widths okay oh, wait that's an excel so confusing oh right, here we go here we go so copy paste column widths only all right so all right, so if we say copy, paste special width only. I guess that works. Just push it all to the bottom, something is bound to happen. I'm trying to do this with some sort of a, uh, you know, thing. I don't know what thing, but I'll figure it out. So hang on. Find Mun. Trying to make it look cool, you know? Um. Oh, that's not the wiki. That's not the official wiki. It's an unofficial Mun wiki. I didn't know that. Um, okay, here we go. And there we go. Hang on, we're getting there. All right, and then if we say insert image in the cell. I didn't. I forgot how I did that. <laughs> um So do I have to copy all and then paste special Column width. See, that's not only the width. I don't know what that means. All right. Seems like the only way I need to do it is that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Go back. Totally destroyed. There we go. Try this again. Insert. Insert link. Insert note. So you can't do that from there. That, God, it's so backwards. I'll clean that up later, but it's not the same size as that. All right. Well, at least I know what I want to do. I'll clean that up later. Let's get Kerbal going here.
All right, so the garage wall is all, it, it's got the first round of mud up there. And then what that means is it, it's, um, it's not spackle, it's, um, Joint compound. It's got joint compound and covering up screw holes uh, of some gouges that I did. And it's my first round because I'm not a professional. So, and the stuff I'm using is the very inexpensive stuff. So it has a lot of, it'll shrink a lot, which isn't good because that means if you have a hole and you put it in and you fill it in with the compound, when it dries, it shrinks. So that means the hole is filled, but the compound shrunk and it leaves a little divots in there. So that means I go through and I knock down all the rough spots. I give a good sand and then I come back behind with more. And uh, so it's like a two, three step process. If I use uh, what's called hot mud or fast drying mud, there's not hardly any shrinkage. So sometimes you don't have to do that. But uh, I'm using what, uh, what I had left over from our renovation. And then after I get all that done, then I have two big seams, actually three big seams. And this is where <laughs> my talent shows as not being very good at all. All right, so we, um, we've landed on the Mun, landed on Minmus, and we've landed on Kerbin several times. I think the only Kerbin, Snake, good morning. The only Kerbin task left is a contract about putting up a station and we have to put some uh, Kerbals up there. So what I want to do, we've got science to spend. All right, so let's let's do this wisely. So I need, uh, we already unlocked that. All right, so that's a two-seater. That would be nice. Now, first of all, getting the skipper well worth it. It's a good lifter engine. Monster, good morning. It's a good lifting engine. And then expanding our fuel tanks, also a good thing. And then this is a bunch of decoupler stack separators. That's probably going to be needed. I don't really need the robotic stuff yet. Landing gear. Um, and we'll think about that. Bearings. Oh, everything's going to get so expensive. So on this, don't really need plane parts. I, w I would like to unlock some more science. Uh Oh, these are new. That's a new antenna, I think. Oh, two new sciences. Sweet. So to get that, we have to... What is that? Oh, that's a big battery. Okay, so 160. 300 for more science. Okay. This is all heating stuff that we don't really need until we get down to the big panels. All right. Um, We need that. Need the fairings. I would really like to unlock this, but to do that, we gotta do both of these. So that's more important. Now this gives us, oh, the guidance chip. Oh, right, 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 right. And a probe core, sweet. 194, so not quite enough to get out here. That's a three seater thing. Yeah. Um. think we're going to hang on. Oh, you know what? Eventually. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, unlock. Oh yeah. The Terrier would be nice. The 104. All right. So we just went through all that science. Buku quick. Yeah, I don't. All right. All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. So to meet this contract, 
We do have a station up there, but this is, we have to have two Kerbals up there. We don't have that. So we have the habitation. What we can do is get the science module up there. I have an idea. We're gonna make a new lifter and everything for it too. All right, so if we open up the hab module, as soon as I find it, there it is. And uh, we're gonna rename this and call it the mobile processing lab module. This lifter will not be able to do any work for us. No, it won't. And then let's get rid of the fairing. Um, what I want to keep from this is, um, so is that root? That's root. Okay. So if we lift this, oh, it did not do what I wanted it to do. All right. I have an idea. I have an idea. So the mobile processing lab is right here. What I want to do is since these in sections, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 I have an idea. So let's make them unique. Can I copy that? Nice, all right. We'll put that right there for now. So let's go ahead and uh, make that root. Um, now we already have an antenna up there, but it would be nice to have a backup antenna on this just for whatevers. So my idea is instead of having the same connector, we can make it unique. And I think is what I want to do. Instead of just making a different color, um, we do a um, an engine plate. So we want to get rid of the coupling. And this thing has got nodes on it. So we want to just minimize that. Then we can put that or Huh. I like that one better. Is this got any different colors? No. All right. All right, get rid of that. So, it's either that or that. I kind of like that one better. We're not gonna use it as an engine plate or anything like that. I'm just using it as a surface. Oh, batteries poke out. Weird. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe, that, maybe that's not a good thing. I don't know. Looks pretty nice, actually. Um, so we'll do the same thing with solar panels. These aren't their final resting place. I'm just putting those there. What else is missing? Um, the RCS cheaty ports, we can do that as well. Yeah, I'll straighten those out in a second. And I think that's it. So now we're gonna come in here and see if I can't grab that reaction wheel. Oh geez. This is gonna be a gonna be impossible. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll move this up a little bit. This is a lot easier in the SPH for those that have got the skill. I do not have the skill for the SPH. All right, so this is all squeezed together too much. So we'll do it like this. That's the reaction wheel, right? All right. So how about if we do that? And got to be a better way of doing this. Mm -hmm.
Oh. Oh, that was the uh, node. All right, let's uh, let's rethink this so it's a little bit easier to manage. Okay, that's not what I was talking about. If um. That gets attached like that. Uh, what if we do that? Do that. Okay. Well, that, that would seem to work out a little bit easier. Now, can I... Oh, wait. No, not quite. Well, all right. So let's see if we can um, grab some parts here and replicate this. So that's the engine. What is that right there, though? Is that the docking port? That's the docking. There we go. I was lucky. Or wait a minute. I just, okay. All right. So, wait, how'd I get the docking port and not the, that doesn't make any sense. I'm just confusing myself now. Gotta come up with a better way of doing this. Where's the parts at? Oh, parts are gone. Oh, I did it now. All right, hang on. There's the batteries. Here I was trying to do something kind of cool looking and now I just turned it into a weird like unofficial clipping party because I can't figure out where the heck my stuff is. That's the docking port. There we go. All right. How come that didn't copy it? I went to copy it. All right. All right, here's an easier way of doing this. Much easier way of doing it. Let's just grab the engine plate. Without anything else attached. Let's get rid of this one. Get rid of that. Too many parts. Really? All right, so now we have just the engine plate. All right, cool. So let's take the reaction wheel with the batteries. So now they're attached to the engine plate. And we take the docking port. And now that sticks out a little bit too far. So maybe... Take the batteries off for a second. So we'll put the batteries on the um, engine plate, so they're not attached to that. So if we grab the docking port, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 I have a better idea. All right, so put that, oh, no, no just one, just one. Okay, I'm, it's all the wrong keys on my keyboard. There we go. All right, put that there. Now, can we attach this to the docking port in a way that it's not going to interfere with the docking port. So 
Now, um, so those are attached to that. All right, so. I think we don't want anything clipped into the ring. Reaction wheels give me a hard time. <sighs> oh. Okay, bigger reaction wheel. So that was easy. Er. And. All right. I can duplicate it. Sweet. All right. We can get rid of all this. Man, that, that was a nightmare. Um, all right. So this. No, not that. Aren't Andy. Yeah, that that's clipping, so I don't want that. There. That looks nice and clean. I like it. Now, let's fix this. Wait, is that in the center? Wow. Looks like it's in the center. Yeah, I'm having a little design issues today, it looks like. All right, so if we, there we go, that's centered, and then back in right there. So we still got doc, oh, I'm sorry, we still have ports and stuff. Okay. Um, save that. Man, that was a lot of work. I guess. All right, um. So we're gonna have this and the power station. Power state or power module. Power not module needs the big solar panels and we haven't unlocked that. So we can put the curvils up there to complete the contract, but we can't do the training because it's gonna suck a lot of power. And I wanna make sure we have ample power generation. Um, oh, you know what? What's probably important here is I do this. That works. There we go. Excuse me. All right. Um, I do want to put some RCS on this and the power module since it'll be on the uh, outside edges of the habitation module. I know I can use reaction wheels, but I don't want to have to, oh, 
God, speaking of reaction wheels, hang on. Um, I'm dial down the control or whatever it's called. Yeah, control. So let's put this at 50%. I've experienced that the reaction wheels will sometimes um, shake the heck out uncontrollably. They'll um, like work against one another almost. Get some weird oscillation and it'll shake the station apart. Um, so to help with any sort of uh, rotation or whatnot, we're gonna use these. Now, if we balance it for this particular craft, Will it be balanced for the whole station? Probably not, but I'm not looking for balance. I'm looking for, uh, if we get the, no way. All right, wow, it's not bad. All right, I don't know. Um, if the habitation module's in the middle and we have a module on this side and this side, and these two are balanced for one another, it doesn't mean it's balanced for the whole station, but it'll be pretty darn close. It's my experience. Now with these reaction wheels, whoa, all right, go away. Yeah, we're gonna put these down to uh, Alright, so that is our craft. That weighs, we'll say seven tons. We do have a seven ton lifter, but we're going to make a new lifter that would accommodate this thing. And we're actually going to send two Kerbals up in it. Oh, we need a probe core. Alright. I know how to do this. So this thing has got 3,200 electrical. Mm. So what we're gonna do here is grab a, um, still don't have an antenna. All right, let's, uh, let's do the probe core first. We're gonna grab this part and I think we're gonna put it right here. Just one of them and Oh, we have a guidance chip. Ooh, expensive. Cool. Now the, this guidance chip has what? Um, oh, it can do scans. Huh? Got a little bit of a reaction wheel with it. Oh, here we go, the SAS. So it's got SAS, prograde, retrograde, hold, radial, normal. Oh, target track, so so just radial, not, oh, radial, normal. Oh, doesn't have the other one, all right. Oh, it holds 10 electrical, all right, cool. We don't have to put anything else, go away. Huh. Uh, um. That's in the center. Now, if we took RCS, looks like adding that little weight didn't do anything. Um, antennas now. 
We do have a few new antennas here. So we use that one on the habitation module. We don't need anything huge or humongous. I, I've never seen the, I've never seen the, um, the, the restock of this stuff. So this is the high gain intent. No, wait. That's a new one. That one's normal. That's the, the, that's the high gain antenna that comes with the game. Oh, I see. All right. That looks weird. It looks dated is what that is. <laughs> and then this is the, so this is one that you get with the, oh, I see. All right. Um, I'm just thinking we put one of these things on here. Somewhere. That worked. All right, so now got a docking port, but we're going to deliver this with an engine section and then deorbit the engine section. So we're going to put a decoupler on this. Kind of a smaller one because then we're going to put a fairing around it. So let's see how that's going to work out. Okay, it's fine. There's different colors for the... Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Oh, God, that's so... That's original Kerbal. So classic Kerbal. That's so cool. Uh, I miss some of the classic. I don't miss the one very fat decoupler they had. No, that was not a good decoupler. Um, all right. All right, so now we should have a fairing big enough to go around all this, right? Uh, that would work. That would work better, I think. Wait. Yeah, we'll use this one. Make sure we get around the docking ports. All right, cool. So now our payload weighs, we'll say eight tons. All right, so now we're gonna make a new lifter. Where is, not that one. Oh, here we go. Nice. So one stage. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see here. Doesn't mean we can't use boosters to get up there. That'd be fun. Okay. Um, so out of curiosity, we do have the skipper now. There it is. Well, that would lift off and not quite, oh. Oh, oh, I made a huge mistake. So this thing's got to get, we got to get it close enough, detach it, and then this has got to rendezvous and dock with the habitation module. We can do that. There's plenty of RCS up there and it's balanced. So yay. All right. Um, we're going to add more thrust and fuel. But before we do that, we've got to, um, um, okay, let's grab an antenna. Make sure we have communication. Not that one. That one. So we're going to put this right there. Then for remotely. Okay, that's got a probe core and it has an antenna on it, so we're safe. Okay, good. 
I'm talking to myself now. Okay, let's put this here. We don't need a guidance chip, but I think they have the... Um... Yeah. All right, now, battery-wise, um, because this thing's gonna be on its own for a little bit, just for a little bit, so we don't need a huge amount of battery. We don't need the 1,000, no, no. That's a 200. Let's just make sure. It might be doing a lot of pushing and pulling. All right. So we have intended communi to communicate through the relays. We have 800 battery. We have the brains. All right, so we can put this away. They're in the center. Okay. Um, now let's do some, uh, some of this. Not that, that. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. So when we detach, we have some reaction wheel and RCS to kind of, uh, you know, do, do stuff that we need it to do. It's good. Now we have plenty of battery, but I wanna make sure that if, because what I've said before is that from bottom of the rocket to the top, unless you change your priority, you'll use up the monopropellant, the battery, the fuel from the bottom all the way up the top. So if we do a lot of moving around and stuff like that, we'll drain any and all battery or electrical charge from down here and monopropellant. So if we detach from here thinking, oh, we got plenty of electrical, we could probably have no electrical. And if that's the case, then this becomes a uh, piece of debris. So even though we added battery, it gets used up before it starts using up this stuff. So that's why I like to put uh, some solar panels down here. And if we recover the stage, we get the money back anyways. So panels to trickle charge, communication. We got the brains, the batteries. All right. So now we just want to make sure that without a doubt, this stage will deliver this in rendezvous or uh, we can still do rendezvous with a big old honking stage. Um, we just don't want to do the docking with this attached. So we'll detach this when we get this close enough and deorbit this. So um, let's do some I don't want to do SRBs, not a fan of. It's too hard. Looking for that. And um Wait a minute, this has got 810 liquid fuel. Oh, it's twice as much as that. All right, what, am I, what was I thinking? Oh, 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 I was thinking about those, Never mind. All right, so let's make, make these work. But that's not gonna work. Still not gonna work. There we go. Um, we put that there. That looks nice. How much fuel is that again? So 810, so 1600. But if I use, let's see, so normally I've been using the swivels. So at sea level, 167, and the bobcats are 374. All right. Oh, 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I need to do a stage recovery here. Hang on. All right. Um, yeah, I, th I think boosters are like this is going to work just fine. That Bobcat, Bobcat's going to be a big help. So uh, stage recovery. We can do both. All right. Um, I need parts. So on the stage recovery on this guy, we can do this, I believe. But then on this one, that. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. That working? That works. All right. So let's set these up. And then we'll turn on stage recovery. Start adding shoots until this one's good. 96, pretty darn good actually. 100, nice. All right, so let's go over here. Eighty-eight. Ninety-nine dot seven. All right, sweet. So we can. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's good. All right. Turn off stage recovery. Now, beans that this one's been dialed in with stage recovery, when we add the second one in symmetry, and that one will be all dialed in. I did not want to do three. That's really weird. There we go. That's better. Now, uh, not quite done. Almost done. So we want to, um, let's take care of some strutting here. So we're going to say strut to grandparent. Oh, here's pop. Heaviest. Strut to grandparent. Out of the way. All right, that takes care of all that. So, as it stands right now, this might get us to the altitude. Might. Because our station's at 250 kilometers. However, we're going to, uh, we're going to do something that you can't really do in the real world. We're gonna use little fuel ducts here so it pumps fuel. It's kind of like how asparagus staging I don't think is a real thing. Oh, I don't think that was right. Nope, that's wrong. Oh, it's so crooked. What did I do? Weird. Right, hang on. I can fix this. Maybe. Like, oh, jeez. Cameras. That's better. There we go. Better. So now, why didn't that, what? It's like that didn't make a difference. It was so weird. So right now our Delta V is 3353. If we add these, Oh, 
Oh, all right. So I did it. Added it to the. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's a different stage. So, yeah, that should be good. I wasn't looking at the other stage. My bad. All right. Now I want to make sure everything stays together. So we're going to do some uh, space duct taping here. Oh. All right, that'll keep that together. There's some more up here. There we go. So now we have a, um, a lifter, a new lifter. Oh wait, that's not right. A new lifter that can take eight tons. So this is our new eight ton lifter. So if we make that route and if we drag this, okay. Uh, Kerbin, eight ton lifter new i mean what's the difference between one ton well this is using a lot of parts and it's older stuff huh there we go all right and we'll make um that route again all right sweet All right, let's see if this pans out. Let's get on the launch pad. Oh, I need to put two Kerbals in here. Let's put Bill and Electro. How much more Delta V did you get on the rebuild? Oh, I don't know, that's a good question. Uh, let's see here. So, um, can I pull this off? I can. So, let's see here. We have a total of 4287 so almost a thousand we got more control because we have gimbal too so we don't have to add all the reaction wheels and whatnot it's a little bit better Yeah, it, it's yeah, good point. Good point. What am I looking for? I'm looking for these things. All right. So let's um do that. That. I don't need to put four of them. I just think it looks better, more feasible, I guess. All right. So the light. We'll go to the ground. When we're done with these tanks. We get rid of them. Oh, 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 separatrons. Separatrons. Do we have those yet? Yes. Sweet. What is that? Whoa. Kick back. Nice. All right. I just want to make sure we push these guys out far enough. So we're going to go that there. That there. That is so weird. That's why I don't like doing things in symmetry on this. Wait a minute, I, I don't need that. Oh, 
What am I thinking? Um, in fact, we don't even need these in symmetry. Oh, wait. All right, that works. We have one there and one there. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I, I'm confusing myself. All right, let's put that out there. Roll this under like so. And let's uh, scoot that, scoot that in. Yeah, that should work. So now we want the separatrons to fire off up here. All right, so light all, the oh, listen to an engine. Oh, there it is. All right, light of the engines, let go of the ground. When we're done, we fire off all this stuff. All right, cool. All right. Let's see if we can do all of the things. I did put scientists aboard, didn't I? Or, or two Kerbals. Should be a two engineers. Find out in a second here. Looks like I've been dropping some frames. Am I still dropping frames? 25, 36, 1.2%. Yeah, must have been just here recently. I see two Kerbals, good. So the number's staying constant. It hasn't gone up or down. Percentage is staying the same. So I don't think we're dropping frames anymore. All right. So the question is, the station is at 265. So let's put this up at 200. Two hundred kilometers. This is new engines and stuff, so hopefully it all works. Okay, we don't need the science collection on. Don't need that on. All right, here we go. Three, turn off RCS. Oh, one. Oh, fine, we'll leave RCS on. Oh, look at that. Woo. Second, let me catch up on my stuff here real quick. Okay. All right. So we did our a roll. We got our gravity turn going on. Everything's looking good. So, GTA 6 trailer dropped. You know what? Alex is looking forward to it. All right, let's see if this works. Push them away, push them away. And then hopefully they don't collide and we get some... Nice, all right, cool. I could never get behind GTA. Maybe if it was on a role playing with some, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Wow, this is, this is a really nice mod. I like it. I 
I know, I know. And Alex really enjoys that game too. And it was very, well, she got a little annoyed with, with the, the core game, GTA 5. She played the heck out of that game, but every single time they announced something new for GTA, it was always for online. So, and she doesn't play the online. She tried it a couple times. She said it was okay, but you know, that's weird. Why does the docking port have, uh, that's weird. All right, it's consistent at least. I played the first one, Red Dead Redemption. And then I got the DLC, which had zombies. Ooh, it's weird. Western zombies. Ren Phoenix asked me, hey, Jeremy, Gamers Circle just added more power to his rocket. What's the best way to add more power in your opinion? Well, in the world of rockets, more power usually means strapping on enough fuel to launch a small country into space. But if I were doing it, I'd give that rocket a V8, slap on a couple of superchargers, and watch it blast past Mars like it's looking for a Tesco car park. Nothing says, I have arrived, like a sonic boom that sets off car alarms on the International Space Station. Oh yeah, snap into a rocket ship, gamer circle <laughs> just hit the nitro button in the cosmic race, you dig know, it, Jeremy's talking V8 Russell, rockets, you know? but out here in the universe, you gotta have the finesse and the madness, the perfect balance of thrust and control, gamer circles flying high, past the stars, past Mars, where no Tesco's ever gone before, yeah. Yeah, the cream of the cosmos, that's where they're aiming. And that sonic boom, it's the space-time bang, sending shivers down the cosmos spine. Savage style. All right, so I should have put these over here, so these would have been online. So this might make things a little messy, trying to do a rendezvous, but we'll be able to succeed. Ren, thanks for that. That's awesome. Uh, uh, now I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, um, we have another steam sale coming up. I've heard nothing but good things about, hang on. I didn't launch steam today. Whew. That's bad. Hang on. This might impact if there's a download. I'll try to stop it. I don't launch hardly anything automatically because it always bogs down the computer. I'd rather do it manually. Let me manually bog things down. Um, it's a, what is it? Stranded alien, alien something. Hang on a sec. I was steam won't launch. All right, so let's control from here. And uh, our target is that, right? That's us. Yep. That's our target. Uh, yeah, that's better. Jeez. All right. There is one download. I'm not going to worry about it. I want to really try to wrap my head around, um, stranded alien dawn. Wait, the extermination that's the first person shooter one right yeah i i think i would like the rts one a little bit better <sighs> anyway so we'll see all right so i actually should have not gone so high in my altitude um all right so how are we doing here wow that's actually not bad all right so see if we uh do a rendezvous here. Separation is twenty one dot six. Oh, geez. Um, 
Why is that so far out? Oh, wait a minute. Normally I wouldn't really have a hissy fit with a 21.4 kilometer, but this is a kind of a longish rocket. Um, try to 21.4. Two. That's going up. Looks like the closest I can get is about 20 kilometers. All right, we'll see if we can do this. I've been playing Generation Zero with uh, with Alex. Man, robots are scary. Good thing they're bad shots. <laughs> they're like stormship troopers. I am looking forward to the division three though. I've, I've really enjoyed when the division was out. I had a lot of fun with that division two. Alex and I had a lot of fun with that. And she's so good at it. And I don't want, I don't want to mean like, Oh, girls aren't good at shooters, but she uses a, uh, the controller, which I'm terrible at. I need a keyboard and mouse to shoot straight. So tomorrow, a very controversial game is supposed to be released. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Not controversial as in the subject matter, but um, the development company behind it. The day before, it's, it looks like the day before is basically um, Division and World War Z had a baby. It's it's a kind of a pandemic because in the division you don't have any. You have just people that are trying to take over. In this one, you have uh, people who got sick, reanimated, or didn't. I don't know the whole story, but there's base building and stuff in it. All right, so we do not want RCS to engage. We have a little tiny burn. One sec, I'm concentrating on this. And I'll catch up with chat here. Uh, the only thing I don't like about GTA 6 is that it's only going to be console, no PC. Oh, that's a bummer. Is that how 5 was? That it came out on the console first and then eventually ported it over? All right, so let's get closer here. Where's our rendezvous spot? Way over there. Oh, we got plenty of time. All right, see if I can figure this out. So let's move towards the target, which I'm not doing a very good job at. So we got plenty of gas in the tank. Oh, still not doing it right. There it is. <laughs> it's the little things. All right. So that's what we want to do. So right now we're 11 minutes. We're 19 kilometers away. So if I do a little of this, that's making it worse. Or wait, is it? If I push those two things together, that's what I want. Uh, I don't think that's working. Oh, that's retrograde. 
Oh, all right. So hang on. What we'll do. Hang on. Maybe it works better for you. Well, uh, I read that Spencer is in discussion to decide if Elder Scrolls 6 will be an Xbox exclusive. Oh, I was under the impression that all of the Bethesda games were going to be Xbox PC exclusive, and then later on it comes to Sony. Maybe it works better for you. I know. It's all about me. It is on target. Hey, I got it. No, oh, that's right. All right, we're back to where we started. <laughs> All right, so now let's uh, position towards the target, which is right there. So we got seven minutes until we have our first rendezvous and we created a second rendezvous. I don't think I want to use it. So we're going to get a little bit closer here. Now, remember, I'm not bringing the whole rocket. I'm just bringing the uh, module. All right, so this is how I figure speed and distance. Move the decimal point over and make that meters per second. So I should be going no faster than we'll say 185 meters per second. So I'm doing good on that. Now, eventually we're going to want to slow down. So let's do, uh, let's point this at retrograde, turn off RCS for crying out loud. All right. So we're two minutes away. Our speed is good. Um, we're gonna be slowing down, so I'm gonna push the retrograde. I'm gonna get down to one minute. I'll start putting on the brakes a little bit. You guys know about Kaputz TV, right? Kaputz TV. He's been doing some Kerbal. He's got like 3,000 mods installed. Not really. About 100. So guys, give him a follow. All right? Appreciate it. So I want to get this to about 200 meters and then we'll detach this. Can I? Oh, oh, there, oh, maybe I'll do it this way. Yeah. Alex has a nephew, a new nephew. He's like almost four, maybe. And he's got a very positive whenever he answers a question. Like if you go, hey, Nate, do you have a yellow shirt on? He'll go, yeah. Did you like that hot dog? Yeah. So, so whenever uh, we answer one another, we we, uh, we go yeah, and then I go hey, can can you put, can you put your your aunt Alex on the phone because it'll sound like we're impersonating Nate. I have a small personalized token of appreciation for you the next time we meet in my cozy life. It was about time 
for all your support. Oh, sure. If I could express my gratitude better, I would. No, no, no. You know, anyone that plays more Kerbal and is uh, having fun and I can take uh, responsibility for their lack of sleep and, uh, you know, sure. I get a lot of people that say, I bought this game and it's your fault. And I go, I'm sorry, but I'm proud. I forgot to go to bed last night because I was playing a game that you were playing. And I thought it was really good. Again, I'm sorry and I'm proud. All right, let's, uh, oh, geez. No, 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 no. I don't want that. And there. All right. Saturn. How the heck are you doing? S stupid RCS ports. All right. Yink. Oh, great. The sun. So now we're down to 274 meters. Remember, we started at 200 kilometer in our separation. And uh, but we, we have like two minutes. So we're going to be using the engine to get us pretty much stopped. But we're going to be above, hopefully. It'll make sense when I get there. You guys will know what I mean. Docking is not a race unless you have life support and your Kerbals are dying and that's where all the food is. Otherwise, it's a game of, of patience. Now remember, we're not docking the whole thing. We're gonna get close. We're gonna come to a zero speed to our target. We're gonna detach this, deorbit this, and this is gonna rendezvous with that. We got two Kerbals aboard, so this will start the timer on our contract we have right here. See? All right, two minutes. Oh. <sighs> All right, I started off earlier by saying today is sanding day. Wait, let me start over. Today is the day that I start sanding down some of the uh, joint compound that I filled in a bunch of holes. Not really holes, little tiny nail holes. Um, it's the same joint compound I used during the renovation. I just wanted to get it, get rid of it. One point, so we're one minute away. Um, let's go ahead and use RCS, see if we can't get things a little we're aligned here. That means I got to change into my work duds. I have to cover up the washer and dryer because it's going to get dusty. All right. Put on the brakes. go knock, knock down the big clumps then I'm gonna use the sander sand it all down get it nice and smooth and then I gotta go get another bucket of the joint compound and then fill in all the little tiny divots because this joint compound isn't the best um, it has shrinkage so that means if you fill in a hole put up a tree yet no not yet oh our Christmas tree yeah it's up we got um, tomorrow since we're getting all new decorations for the house, they're coming tomorrow. So it's been uh, unfolding its, uh, the, the uh, limbs have been, hang on. Um, yeah, we've been letting the limbs kind of and keeping water in it and stuff like that. Alex and Alex Jr. are going to put lights in the star. Um, we, there's a, we have, Pookie's got a, you can't see it, but the, um, we have a mantle. There's actually a fireplace behind me. Uh, it's not, we've 
it's capped off. And we're going to actually do an insert next year or the year after. All right, let's get this all dialed in here. So like I said, I want to get down to a certain range from this. And then, um, so let's come to a zero speed here if I can. I'm going to use RCS to do this. All right, so we're at zero. Let's change this to, okay, that's fine, 20%. So we're gonna undock, switch over to this, and then we will use um, RCS to, no, wrong way, back up. That out of the way. Okay, there's our hat module. That's what's gonna dock. So let's make sure. Uh, okay, so this it doesn't matter. So let's uh, control from here, I guess. And it looks like we're still on track. It says we're, yeah, okay. All right, let's go back to this. And let's make sure. Um. Where's the probe core at? All right. Change to orbit, retrograde. Hey, Bishuma, how are you doing? I, I, I pronounce your name different every single time you come in. All right, we'll get rid of that. Switch back over to this. And... All right. reason why I can't there it is why does it say I'm 39 minutes away that's weird Saw the new Godzilla King Kong trailer. I don't know what to think about it. All right. That works out. Contract complete. Really? Wow. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and say control from here. And point, let's turn off RCS, that's good. Point prograde. Cool. All right, it's the beginning of our station. So all, all we have to do now is get a um, uh, Halu spells my name different every single time I'm in her channel. I'm used to it. Okay. Too many Zilla movies. Um, I didn't mind the last one. Now, growing up, I have a, a childhood pal who was a huge 
Godzilla fan, huge. And of course I grew up with King Kong. So, and we would always joke about it. And, and yes, there was a horrible, horrible Japanese King Kong meets Godzilla. That was a terrible movie. Um, uh, whenever, whenever I would refer to, you know, he would always say, look, there's more Godzilla movies than there are King Kong movies. I said, okay, so you want quantity over quality. It always get money. And I go, and it's just a big lizard. It's not a big lizard. So I enjoyed the Mecha Godzilla, was very updated for the times. Um, I'm kind of on the fence as to Godzilla helping out with Mecha Godzilla, but you know, it is what it is. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with, oh, actually, no, 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 no. Okay, um, so here's the deal. I wasn't really paying attention. I just want to get docked and to get the contract complete. What I want to do, now this has got no RCS on it. I mean, uh, no thruster. So we need to undock. And what I want to do is get the docking ports aligned so it makes sense. And also that puts the, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The hatches, top side and bottom side. So let's see if I can do this without messing things up. Uh, the power generation is in separate module to come i have to un i need to unlock the large solar panels so right now all the electrical charge we just have these little trickle charge panels right here so the station's not finished that'll be a separate module um so let's make undock there okay let's switch over to this make sure he's okay good so let's control from here RCS, let's back up a little bit. Back, 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 back. And all we want to do is rotate. So. Oh. Oh, this is really. Kind of a uh, kind of swishy. Sidecar, how you doing? Always love the game. You always love this game. You not playing a new version yet till sort of. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Kerbal 2. A lot of people were very excited about, and we have what, 13 days and we get another, it's actually a milestone release. A lot of people looking forward to it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And yes, I'll be playing it. If it comes out in time, you know, if, it, if it's during my stream time, stream time. What is your favorite waffle? My favorite waffle, oh man. I've got to tell you what my favorite waffle. In fact, let me show you as soon as I get this done here. Oh, oh I'm messing up. I'm messing up. It's going to, oh, we're, we're crooked. We're crooked. Oh, oh, what the heck? Why is this so imbalanced? Oh, because that's not on. That's why I'm good. I'm fine. I'll figure it out one of these days. As long as I've been playing this game, you'd think I know what I was doing. I don't. Why is he yelling? I think he's mad. Uh, back over all right um that looks pretty good all right the alignment of the docking ports is pretty good my favorite waffle, waffle right there you asked and there it is oh you know that one too uh 
uh playing is one thing playing and narrating with people watching critiquing is totally different wow there's a lot of weight on my shoulders all of a sudden thanks for that but it's true i have waffles yeah that lined up pretty good all right yay all right all right so we have to unlock some more science to get more science but we did unlock some more science so what can we do here to collect the science i don't I, these kerbals don't need to be up here so we need to come up with an orbiter and come get them So on the, um, before you guys got here early on in the stream, on the mod list, there's another tab at the bottom, which shows, so this whole playthrough is not about making bases or stations or crazy shuttles or SSTOs. I'm putting Kerbals on planets. Never done that. Well, okay, I haven't done every single planet or moon. That's my objective. Uh, but I had a contract to put a station up, so I did it. And since I do want to collect science, I want to take advantage of the mobile processing lab. And I have a mod installed that actually turns this into a training facility. So I could train these guys, but it takes a lot of power. So that's why the power module is important. So since we unlocked two new, oh, wait a minute. Could we actually land Kerbals and deploy science? get those contracts and get science from that stuff. Ooh, that would be interesting. Cause I, I wanna send a probe to Duna. It's probably gonna lose communication and end up in the sun. Ren Phoenix asked me, simple question, waffle or French toast? Ah, the eternal breakfast dilemma. As contentious as choosing between a reliable diesel hatchback and a temperamental Italian sports car. No, it's Waffles not. Waffles are like precision engineered German machines, all crisp edges and pockets for your syrup. French toast, on the other hand, is the classic American V8. A bit soggy, a bit sweet, but utterly indulgent. Worst analogy. Today, I'll take the V8 of breakfasts. French toast it is. All right, oh, how mate. did we do here? That's the spirit of a scurvy pirate choosing his loot. Nice. Jeremy's 97% on, the treasure that is on the our French new boosters. Toast, much like I'd I That's a nice chunk of change right there. Gold. Waffles be the map. All right, so launch pad is fully upgraded. The spot. Smooth sailing for Jeremy. As long that as he's is not very, caught in the be... doldrums with a soggy piece of bread. Uh, wait, how much do I have? Oh, we could actually upgrade that. Wait, can we? Um, no, that would take a lot of our money. I don't know. You're going to ask gas ran. I think they added a bunch from when I first enabled it. Yeah, that's not really needed. Oh, there's the expensive one. Oh, uh, All right. There we go. We're going to we're going to have to save up for this. I want to make sure we have plenty of bank. Oh, there's this one too. Thanks. All right. Mm. Now, we could probably th do the same lander, right? And just add the two new sciences. Doesn't sound very fun. But Maybe that's the smart. Let's try it on. Let's try it on Minmus first. Let's send uh, a crew to Minmus with our new sciences and see if we can get some more. So save that. Get rid of that. Looking for the Minmus manned lander. Uh, there are more that Andy hasn't set up. You can get Samuel Jackson, Johnny Silver. 
The reason why I haven't set them all up is they keep adding a lot of them. Ooh, new, land, new legs too. So this lander worked fine. It's fairly recent. All we have to do is add seismic. Where did I put all the signs at? Okay, here we go. We're gonna add the seismic. That only works when we land. That doesn't look very straight, does it? Oh, it's actually on there, not so straight. Oh, okay, never mind. That's my bad. And what else did we get? No. There it is. Now we've got new landing legs. see thank you for the 51 month resub appreciate that monster in there with the hype man thank you guys really appreciate it all right so save we're gonna collect some more science we got our station but we've got to get the power module and i need to make a a probe with uh did we unlock any more antennas oh we did Ooh. Yeah, all right. All right, so we need a pilot and a scientist. Ren, you're going up. And you're gonna take me along. Oh, good, good, yes. School is cool, by the way. It is. All right, here we go. We're gonna go to Minmus, see how that works, and then we'll turn around and do another Mun, too. Oof. We had some trajectory problems getting to Minmus. Actually, we had some uh, intercept problems. All right, here we go. 90 kilometers is good. Nothing's changed. Checking the staging. Looks good. Three, two, one. It's very bright. We don't need RCS on. It's Ren just testing out the uh, the steering wheel. We'll straighten it out soon. Boosters will probably probably put us should have put separatrons on them. I know, I know, I know. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying you're you're testing stuff out. That's all you're doing. You're making sure all the bells and whistles, and you're putting the the fuzzy thing on the steering wheel. You know, I don't know why. I will not go for the dangling dice though. Nope. Studying to become a network technician. Well, tax, I think um, nowadays with the internet and businesses and networking and stuff like that, that's a solid trade. I 
to say, you know, when I was working at Microsoft and Intel, I was a real techno nut, you know? And I'll tell you what, as I, I hate to say this, as I got a little bit older, even though technology gets more streamlined, it all kind of stays the same. There's new, you know, you know how, you know how cell phones first came out it was LTE, 3G, 4G, 5G. So you always get a, a, a bump in the technology. But it's funny how, and I hate to say this, kids nowadays think that people that are my age or our age doesn't know anything about technology. Because <laughs> when you get in that conversation with your adolescents and your teeny boppers and how they try to, you know, out talk you. And then when you say, well, you know, if you just did this and this and you wouldn't have that problem, they go, oh. I don't mean to deflate their their bubbles in front of their friends or anything like that. Zoomers, yes. But I tell you what, I am slow on texting. Alex thoroughly enjoys whenever I do the uh, uh, text to speech thing, the talk to speech, whatever you want to call it, the TTS. And because I don't have, because I don't enunciate very clearly it'll come across not quite she knows what i'm trying to say but she'll make fun of me um i remember there was a text conversation I, I said something to her to the effect that hey i'm gonna go to the grocery store and get this and this and this and i'll be home and somewhere in the middle it talked about mustard because i was going to pick up mustard and purple trees i knew, i said nothing about purple or trees and she was very curious why i was going to get purple trees and put mustard on them so, oh, that's a real, real late burn. So, I can't text very fast. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Now, that should burn up in the atmosphere, right? Old school telecom guys are a lot smarter. Yeah, because it was more work to get stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can see that. It's like connecting A to D, you have to do B and C, but now it's just A to D. And if you don't know about B and C and C breaks, you don't know how to fix it. And you think there's something wrong with A or D or yeah. Uh, yeah, though in Denmark, network technicians are in the top 10 trade that goes down with stress or burnout. It, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the technology industry, sure. It's 10 snack bonus. All right, we don't need this anymore. A plus D equals R. It could be. Depending upon what you're trying to do, old grumpy. It really didn't work out. Well, uh, we're going to Minmus with this. Oh, wait, you know what? Uh, first of all, I forgot to turn on the science. So we missed some opportunities, probably. That's all right. Now, did they add something? Because I want to do a home and transfer. That's what I want to do. Plan insertion burn. No insertion burn. All right, let's try that instead. I mean, I don't want to impact or flyby is fine. So then if we add some Delta, oh geez, that was way too much.
Oh, wow. Cisco is awesome. You know, I... I, I actually didn't know the extent of what a... So at home, some... Why is the burns always... That doesn't make any sense. So at home, most people are gonna have like a DSL modem or a cable modem. And then if your ISP provider usually will give you a router with wireless, you know? So most people today will have a router of sorts. And they're usually pretty content because nowadays a lot of people just connect wirelessly. Alex and I do not have our computers connected wirelessly. They're hard coded in. We did the extra work of actually so the cable comes underneath and then comes into, I'm pointing to a wall. There's a wall right there. That's where the cable comes up. And that's where it goes to the modem. The modem goes to the router. Now we could just run wires from there over the carpet to where we are. But I said, no, no, let's do this the right way. I'll crawl underneath and where the electrical outlets are just to the right of them, we'll put new new holes and put in some new jacks for uh, network connections. And we did that. Good morning, Chris, how you doing? Another fine day to risk Kerbal Lives. What's the mission? Collecting a little bit more science, doing some landings. Um, we need to expand our station a little bit. Doesn't have great power generation at all. So how did this do comparatively? All right, so we're not on the side I wanna be on side. So if we use RCS and point that way, that works. All right, I can live with that. So we did we did our due diligence. So we have network cable that goes to where we sit. So we just plug in our computers, we're good to go. So what's the big deal? Well, I have right here, I have a network switch, but it's a, it's a Netgear network. So nothing really complicated because it's a smart switch, but like Cisco or, um, I was gonna say um, another name in there and I forgot. I, I got much more respect when I worked at Intel and I referred to this quite often working at Intel, we got hit with a bad virus. Someone opened up an email from someone they didn't know, clicked on the link and it just started sending out me emails to everyone he had in their contacts and people would open up them because you trust that person, you get a, so all these viruses went out and it just bogged down the network to where nothing was working. What I did at Intel is I supported the call centers. I didn't answer phones. Oh, that's right. I didn't answer any calls. We just made sure that the call centers calls routed to where they're supposed to based upon the time of day, the day of the week, all that kind of stuff. And we did it for all the Intel sites globally. So it was, um. It was tricky to deal with all the different holidays and all that kind of stuff, more so, ooh. I like that a lot better than the stock one, that's cool. Anyways, during this virus, I was on call, so my pager was going like crazy because none of the call center stuff worked right because all server-based. So we had to switch to using only the PBXs, which didn't have any networking involved because it was all telecom trunking, and that didn't get impacted. Uh, so any of the complicated, you know, uh, checking to see if uh, certain agents, they weren't getting their screen pops and all this kind of stuff. They were very bummed. <laughs> Anyways, I sat on this bridge call with these networking guys and man, are they sharp. They they were saying, uh, okay, Bob over there at, uh, at Chandler, I need you to go to, and they had all the routers documented. I need you to go over here. It should be in this closet. Uh, I need you to log into it locally and shut down these ports and then come back. And then and then once people were doing that, it was funny because they had a, a real-time graph up showing, um, I'm not too sure, but I think it was traffic in relation to the amount of traffic trying to go through that wasn't going through because of the virus or something like that. So by shutting down some ports, it was shutting down erroneous traffic coming from laptops and, and other stuff like that. And uh, once these guys got ports shut down and someone got an antivirus patch in that was being distributed and was killing the virus, man, it was so nice to watch these guys operate. <laughs> um, 
it was it was tr I didn't really learn anything. I was just you shut everything down to the bare minimum. Wait till the network guys come out with their antivirus. You test, you deploy it, you test it, make sure it shuts down stuff, and then you slowly deploy that patch out to servers before laptops. And I mean, I was, I was impressed. So it took about, I would say, twelve hours to get core stuff up and running, and then it took about, I'd say, about a week to filter out to everything. So, yeah, it was pretty impressive. Oh, nice, nice. See, our IVRs were, were network-based. So for a couple of days, we had to run only off of PBXs. So it was a lot of, you know, hurry up and wait. And like call centers were trying to maximize what they used to have on a PBX, trying to explain to them, no, you can't have that on a PBX. And then, you know, then once we were given the green light on the IVRs, we were actually running stuff on the backup IVRs to make sure everything was okay. We weren't infected. You know, it was like really cool. Stuff. I don't want to do that a lot because that was highly stressful. All right, so how are we doing here? We should have some, uh, ooh, yeah. So we got a couple of experiments there. We have 521 Delta V left in our kicker transition, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like, if I can figure out how to play this game. Yeah, it's a little bit far away. When we get there, we'll we'll bring this closer. I don't think we're going to see anything else till we get right here. But um, yeah, these uh, Cisco, Avaya, Nortel, they all had some networking stuff. God, there's another company in there too. I can't remember. Don't be frightened. All right, there we go. Sweet. Get more experiments. I like it. We're up to five. Oh, wait. Do I have to hop out and get a crew report? Oh, that's something they fixed in Kerbal 2. Is you don't have to hop out for a crew report anymore. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So all we have to do is um, retrograde in. That's out. Is that the default hold music? No, it's um, uh, stream beats. Because for some reason, the stuff I've been using for the last six years. One of my Kerbal videos got snagged on YouTube. Out of the blue. All right, good. All right, so now let's get our orbit. So 185 Delta V, we've got that. Now on the PBX, on the Avayas, they used Muzak, M-U-Z-A-K. On Nortel, it was a cassette tape that would run. Oh, geez. And uh, it was crazy because in the server room, in the server, in the room where the, the PBXs were, sometimes it'd get a little warm and that cassette tape as old as it was, would sometimes stick and would go rawr, 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 like, like, you know, like it's melting. So, and we didn't have any way to know that unless someone complained about the music. And there was no way of changing it unless you spent money. And that was how Nortel nickel and dime did again. We didn't like Nortel. Abaya was so much easier to work with because it had VDNs, vector driven nodes. And a, a VDN was basically a, a number, a phone number. But you could tell the VDN to point to a vector, which gave you, I think we had 32 lines of code. It was it was fairly basic, you know, like you come in, you listen for tones. If you get a one, you can go down to a step or send it to another v vector or VDN. And so it was, it was step-based, you know? All right, so I don't want to land in the same spot. We want to land somewhere else. Where's a the flag? They landed. 
How come I don't see a flag? I know I planted a flag. Huh. Flag fall down? That's our science lander. Oh, there we go. There it is. All right, we're gonna land over here by the science lander. Oh, well, that'd be fun. Yeah, 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 let's do this. Where is it? There it is. Oh, I don't wanna land in the same place. No, I wanna land something. Let's land right here. I wanna get new science, new biome. Okay, we'll do that. No, I mean the default VoIP music on hold deployed with Cisco. I've heard it for years. Yeah, I, our, our, uh, I don't know. We didn't use Cisco for VoIP. We used Avaya. And the music on hold, we usually didn't do in the IVRs. We didn't hold the call in the IVR. We held it in the PBX. Because with IVRs, there's a license for trunk, and then there's a license for, for, for other stuff, for music. And we already had all the licenses we needed on the PBX, so it didn't make sense to pay twice, basically. Basically. All right, so I want to land here-ish. So we're going to... We have 300 Delta V left. That's a really high drop, isn't it? But I know when I left Intel, they were moving away from PBX to server-based uh, IVRs or uh, PBXs. New science. Oh, we didn't recover some stages. That's a bummer. Probably parts. Um, I left him out when I was flying over. So we're going to have to uh, alter this. I don't want to land on the lumpy stuff. What's that? All right. So since we have some RCS, let's, uh, what do I want to do here? Actually, maybe, nope, 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 nope. There we go. That's about where I want to land. Perfect. That's nav HUD. All right, we're still 10 kilometers up. Hardly any fuel left in the stage, so let's go ahead and kick it off. New landing gear. So just in case we have some sort of a catastrophe, we don't want to lose our panels. As Chris pointed out. Thanks, Chris. All right, let's get down to, uh, I think if you time warp, I think it automatically stops at three kilometers. 
I'm gonna stop myself here. Ah, there's bugs. Bugs on my monitor. I don't like it. Tell Ren to make sure the landing is soft. Wouldn't want to discomfort Gamer Circle. Yeah, I, I don't want to spill my drink. Eight hundred meters. You know, probably over the holidays, when I take a little time off from streaming, I might finally get around to upgrading OBS. I'm two versions behind. Sorry, I'm three versions behind. I'm on 27, they just released 30. And what's keeping me from doing that is I have a plugin that's called, hang on, Stream Effects. And it allows me to easily do blurs and all the other things with the, uh, uh, the channel points. He put, uh, the owner, the developer of said plugin has put it behind a paywall now. But Nutty, who does a lot of stuff for streamers, found a lot of free alternatives. So I might actually say, maybe I don't need this plugin and I will uh, uninstall it, which will break the channel points. Hang on. Look at there. Touchdown. Um, and then I'll I'll find find Nutty's video for the alternatives for those things, and then uh, see if I can get them to work. If not, then I'll just uh, thanks, Chris. If not, I'll just uh, go to the pa guy's Patreon and and buy it. Make sure I don't violate any of his terms of service. Hey, that didn't that did not explode. Wow. All right, so is there any actual uh, Minmus rocks I can go explore? There's usually ones that you can uh, take your scientist to and um, I don't see any. All right. Wow, we got 14 experiments, that's nice. So let's get uh, Gamer Circle out. See if he's gonna botch, he almost fell, did you see that? And he brought his parachute. All right. And landing. There you go. All right, let's go ahead. Not that. Plant another flag. That's true. And we're going to say second. Oh, geez. Second Kerbal landing. Ren and GC. Well, we got 17 experiments. That's not bad. We're gonna bring all this back home. What I wanna do is while these guys sit here, oh, you know what? We're gonna have to come back to Minmus because there's deployed science 
I should have done that. Dang it. I, I get in such a hurry to complete some stuff and collect some stuff. I completely forgot. All right, so we can do this one, do that one. Wait, what? Science data from Urban. Oh, and then the Mun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gather surface deployed mystery goo from Minmus. So we're going to have to come back with the deployed stuff. Analyze the surface of Minmus Highlands. Landed. Oh, I have to go find that. I don't want to go find that. Flight, surface of movement, slopes. No, no. Perform an orbital study. So that's high in space. We can do that. Because we're going to go to the, the MUN. We don't have any Minmus. Oh, there. No, no. We got goo. All right, we'll do that one. Prolonged space flight. 60 days in space. So wait a minute. So right now we have two Kerbals up in space. So Gene, shut up. Where is it? So, all right. So if we go to the station, geez, look at all this stuff. Oh, we need to rename this. Now, this is an older contract pack, so if I meet the conditions and it doesn't know about it, then I'm going to just set up a, an alarm clock and we'll mark it off. Um, don't need that. Uh, prolonged space flight. All right, so it recognizes it. We have a timer going. So just to make sure, I'm going to set another Kerbal alarm clock for 60 days. And that way, if this keeps turning itself on and off for whatever reason, then at least we'll know that. And I want to rename this to, not a hab, where's the probe, where's the guidance chip at? Thought I added a guidance chip in here somewhere. Maybe not. Huh. No, I did. Don't see it. That's strange. Because a guidance chip would do that. It's not in that, it's in this. Somewhere it's in this. Just can't see it. Oh well. I know, I know, I know. Well, the thing is, if I can't find the guidance chip, which I put towards the top, but then I don't know which way the top is because they're both identical. Um, this has got probe cores somewhere. There it is. We can do it from here. There we go. Good enough. All right, so that's going. Um, so we have transmit recover science around Kerbin. We don't have any science experiments on this, but... We can go to here. Then we're gonna go bring the guys back. I think we're gonna to try to make a new lander. Oh, this one's got a broken panel, bummer. Log that. Wow. All right, so it didn't have enough power because, yeah. All right, so let's um turn that on and turn panel. All right, so we'll find another another one. Um, 
That one. Oh, that might have worked too, Ren. All right, so let's get that panel out. And find the science. Okay, that was for Kerbin. Let's go to the Mun. It says from space, so we should be able to do it from either one of these. And there it is. There's a sun at. All right, nice. That's got upgraded uh, batteries on it, too. Excellent. And then we have Minmus. Then we'll bring the guys back. Should be something in a polar orbit. There it is. Oh, we'll get it there eventually. Here we go. The roundabout way. Oh, there's already stuff there. All right, so without even launching some rockets, we're using our, uh, that sounds very good. Oh, that was the old boosters. Yeah. All right. That's 20, 40. So that's 60. That's a hundred thousand kerbuckle bucks just from, uh, using our pre-existing, you know, stuff. All right. So we're on Kerbin. Let's get off of here. Left my lights on.
Wow. I locked up Kerbal. There we go. Uh, okay. That works. <laughs> but if we try, if we don't successfully do that, it looks like we'll have a moon in moon escape too. All right, we'll do this. Um, actually it's the, um, maneuver planner because precise maneuver creates actually on that one, it wasn't precise maneuver. When you create a node, it brings it up, but it was maneuver planner or mech jeb that was doing it, creating the, calculating the node. You see, if I wanted to use your mods, do I download your CCAN mod list? Yeah, I updated that. Make sure you read the rules if you want the mech jub part, all right? Because um, on CCAN, let me show real quick, just in case anyone else wants to do it. So we updated the mod list. So if you look at the mod list, if you look at the mod list, keep saying that. Oh, I lost chat, there's chat. So KSP land. So on this, I don't know, for some reason. Oh, is that why? That's weird. There we go. That was weird. I, I was looking at a, an, an image and for some reason, Google wouldn't launch it. So this file, when you download it, it will be something to import into CCAN. Now, right here, if you want for MechJub, you have to do this. Otherwise, MechJub won't import. All right, and you have to make sure you follow all this too. And what that means is that there's two different things. You go to settings and you go compatible game versions. And this is, I used to go down to 1.3, but then I would say probably a year ago, uh, Linux said, you know, it's not real safe anymore to go that far back, go back to 1.8. Um, so once you make that, then you have to go to CCAN settings. And up here is where you add the MechJeb development stuff. It's already listed, so when you go to add new, it'll actually come up in the list. And then once you once you have all that, I would uh, shut down CCAN, relaunch it, double check everything. Yeah, it's it's not really that that it may be a little overwhelming, but um, there's just two places: CCAN settings and then compatible game versions. One you have to, I think by default it doesn't have anything checked, so you just have to check 1.8 up to the current version. And then you accept that and it'll do that. Then here, when you go to CCAN settings, um, I would leave everything as it is because I haven't changed anything except for where I download my mods to. Uh, that's my big physical drive. And then in here, when you click new, you just have to click this and say, add it. I've already got it added, so it'll probably give me an error. And then once you do that, uh, I would then shut down CCAN and relaunch it. And then when it comes up again, you would go like this. So this is me shutting it down, relaunching it. And let's imagine I don't have any mods listed here whatsoever, which is kind of hard because it's gonna put a big old long list of mods here. You go file and you say import from CCAN file. Then you find that file that you downloaded and you say open and just let it download everything. Hopefully you don't get any errors. I haven't actually tested it. Hopefully that works. And then if for the actual settings for each mod, that's the next tab over. And then I just added this one. So landed, I'm, I'm, I'll do this offline, but I just wanted to see that'd be kind of cool. All right. So we're heading to Kerbin.
So we're coming in at a slight angle here. I didn't correct it, but that's okay. And the periapsis is at what? Oh, that's not good. So we got to fix that. We got we got fuel to burn. Um, see here, if we do this and then if we pull retrograde. Oh wait, I thought I saw 154 in there. Oh, it's 46. Oh, that's fine. I said 146. Well, I don't think we're going to need this um I think the moment we hit the PE, we're going to drag that AP away from the, uh, that's a MUN encounter there. So I'm going to take a risk here. And we're going to say, we have 17 stored experiments. So we're going to say goodbye to our engine section. That's why I never liked this decoupler. All right, for the MUN, we're gonna we're gonna switch over to the the Gemini capsule. That one just makes more sense to me. Yeah, it's going to get a little toasty in there. Oh. Now, first playing Kerbal, this stuff right here, I didn't understand what the heck was going on half the time. <laughs> uh, the capsule, the Soyuz capsule has a... Uh-oh. Hang on. Are we going to die? Oh, it's getting warm. It's got a built-in ablator, see? Oh, it's cooling off. It's cooling off. We're good. We're good. I had actually built in a heat shield. But you can't put it before this decoupler because it's part of the capsule. And I, I, w I knew that, I just thought in the wrong order on how to do it. So we're gonna build, we're gonna rebuild this for the MUN and we're gonna take some deployed science with us this time for the contract. Yeah, I know, I, I've, I've gotten lucky once with uh, in Jewel doing now I did a gravity assist, not a slingshot. Gravity assist. All right, so uh, hopefully we miss this whole mountain range. What, a uh, slingshot and gravity assists? Is that trajectories? Does that, does trajectories help with that? That's not a real word. Trajectories, not trajectories. Trajectories, right? Hey, there's the mun. Looks like we're gonna clear that mountain range. Yep. Oh, well, we're still going over the mountain range. 
trajectories just puts x on the ground where you would land yeah if you have atmosphere if there's atmosphere trajectories does you're right yeah uh do we need heat anymore i don't think so Yeah, trajectories gives you a little red line that shows you approximately where you're going to land. And with Kerbal Engineer, you can get a bullseye. I think. Yeah, see? Yeah. No, trajectory just helps with the plot. Gotcha. The website has an atmospheric data and common planet rocks. Oh, oh, oh got, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Ouch. Myself. Now with Mech Jab, if you unlock the um, landing guidance, when you pick a target, it puts a an X, I believe. Now. Looks like we're gonna land in flat territory. That's a pretty bullseye. So what we're trying to do is get some quick science so we can unlock the big solar panels for the power module for the station because the station we're gonna use to train our scientists, that's a mod. And then once they get trained up, we're gonna use that. So when we collect science, instead of transmitting it right to KSC, we're gonna, we're going to, um, we're going to, um, we're gonna transfer it. I was trying to think of the word. Relay it. That's it. We're going to relay the science to the station where the scientists will be able to take that data and do their scientific thing and give us more science for it. Oh, we're going to land in the water. Growing up, I loved roasted marshmallows, but even in, even in a s'more, I go light on the marshmallows because they're so darn sticky and ooey gooey and hard to clean up but i like little tiny marshmallows in my hot choke 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 i don't know what word i said hot chocolate but i'll stir them so they all melt and then it's kind of like having cream all right we're not going to need the middle shoot so we're just going to cut that bad boy right now boom Not stick if you do it right. Well, then I've been doing it wrong for eons. Oh, check it out. Let's see if anyone knows what this is. I've talked about it. Hang on. Hang on. Can you guys see that? This is a control module what I thought I was buying because I wasn't paying close attention. And these are like five bucks each. Uh, hang on, I'll tell you exactly what I bought. It is an ESP8266 module that it's got Wi-Fi can be powered by micro USB. Uh, but basically this is gonna be a controller for, I'm gonna do some DIY Christmas uh, LEDs. Not behind me, in the house. And um, I wanted to get the ESP32s. They're a little bit smaller. They're the upgraded, they, they work just fine though. And depending upon how much power you put to it, you can power, I don't know, like, 
a thousand fifteen hundred leds just depending if you got enough power coming from your uh, power source all right let's put this on so when we hit the ground we stick so anyways i, I printed out a little box for it and it fits in there nicely and then that way i have a uh i can put my my power cables in yeah red gave me some uh, other stl files to print out that i don't know which one i like yet it's always hard to tell even from the images people put of their 3d when you print them you don't know what to expect now, i won't be doing any soldering i'll be just doing a um just the rgb rope LEDs that have audio signals input have gotten pretty popular. Yeah, the the WLED software actually has what's it called? Audio augmentation or audio response. So, and you can use that with these modules too. I'm just baby step. I think next year I've showed Alex that Govi makes some very nice, they're a little pricey. They're like $300 a strand. I don't know how many lights you get. And the way that you can attach them, you don't have to... Oh, we're here. Yay. Um, hang on. Any signs to get here? Absolutely nothing. So, I'm going to recover. So, let's see what we got. Um, and the Govi again is uh, I, I have a couple of Govi LEDs and I like them. I like them a lot. But the way that these are, the way you can configure these, they come with clips that you can use. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, that's a thousand science right there. Oh, holy shnikey. I do love Minmus. Hey, look. We're BMOCs now, big man and kyanpuses. We're level twos. Look at all the ribbons we got. Um, because I think the best for us is to attach them underneath our gutters. I don't want to drill anything, but um, I think I'm going to use um, Gorilla. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a there's there's this other company that makes really good exterior double-sided tape is it 3m and i think i'm going to use those to attach the lights and keep the the strip nice and taunt so it looks nice and you know kind of concealed alien tape is that a thing is that a thing all right so right off the bat where is the power way down here so we have to unlock this for 90 Unlock this for 160, and that's 300. That gives us the big solar array. That's new. That gives us 646. If they're bright enough, that works so they're hidden, but not on. Yeah, you can you can configure them so you know you can do any theme. You can program them with whatever patterns you want. They've got like. They've got Halloween, Christmas, other, and then you can put your colors in there for whatever sporting teams you follow. So when you're playing a game, but then you can also say like every other light turn on at a certain time and make them half bright for like, you know, like porch lights almost. So, but the thing is we don't have any external plugs. So I'm probably going to have to do something all the way back to the garage, hide it underneath the awning, and then, you know, make a um, a grommet and seal it. Late to the party this morning. What are we working on? Uh, we, we put another module up for the station. We got some more science unlocked. St. Kerbal's to Minmus just unlocked a bunch of stuff. And I want to, ooh, I like that capsule. I want to redesign our orbiter. So we have three, 600 science. Um, so we do have, I would like to have the poodle. This gives me the boar. I've never heard of that one. 
More science. Yeah, yeah. Let's go see what we can unlock. Oh, uh, no science here. Oh, this is deployable science, though. I think the next batch of science is right here. Yeah, and that's going to require a big... We haven't even unlocked this. So we've got... We've got new science here. This and this and deployed science and stuff like that. So I think what I want to do... This just gives me another guidance chip. No, don't need that. Bigger fairing. Don't need that. Um... So that's 300 for that and then 300 for that. So that's 600. We can do this. And so just in case, cause that gives us the main sale. Yeah, we just put the lab. So we started with the hitchhiker, which is our habitation. We just put the lab up. Now I just unlocked the panel so I can build my uh, power module. Probably won't do that today. Um, what I want to do is redesign our lander for Minimus and Mum because we have deployable stuff we can still do. I, I, I want to get something off to Duna, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to go with Lifter. So, because right now we're using the Skipper. What's up? Pookie's here. What's wrong, Pookie? Oh, do you think it's snack time? Oh, it's break time, right? Okay, he's looking at me. <sighs> um... The heck is that? Oh, the inflatable airlock. I usually try to rush the ion engine. The little tiny thing that uses... Oh, I got you. This... Wait, where is it? Oh, that's the moho thing, right? Where's that? I'll find it. No. This thing right here? The Dawn? Um, don't need that. Don't need those. Oh, you know what? I think. <sighs> no, I'm going to unlock. So this gives us bigger tanks for what we're not using. What am I missing here? So we unlocked this, right? Is there one bigger than that? The 30, is there a 64? Oh, there it is, found it. Um, all right, let's hang on to this 300 just in case I made some, made some mistakes here. So there's no actual science here. These are, well, that that's the deployable science. It's the camera. Okay. It's the nuclear engine. Really? Uh, a monopellant auxiliary power unit? Is that what an APU is? Generate electricity and the monopropellant. Wow, that's that's a cool little addition. Then we got the RTGs. No, no life support this time around because otherwise I would be killed. Drop curvils would be dropping like crazy when I'm trying to go to other planets. It's true. All right, let's design a no bun lander. Yeah, airplanes have got APUs in them. All right, so. Oh, I didn't want that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take out the monopropellant because I won't be using the RCS, which is right there. Um, now, if we're going to use this as a... Um, we're going to use this for an orbiter too. God, should I try to design both at the same time? No, no, I want to get the science out of the way. So let's do a lander... Then we'll do a combination orbiter lander, which might be more than I can actually do. So we just need, right now, we just need a chute. There we go. And we'll set that. And I'm not going to worry about a backup chute or anything like that. 
Um, right. All right, now heat shield. We don't need all 800 of that. I'm going to say about 240 is all I really need. All right. So this is going to be, um, Mun Lander. No, Science Lander. Mark two. Andy, do you know if a science lab landed on a planet, can you get same boosts for research science? Uh, it, it, it'll work no matter where you put it. Now, it doesn't have to be in orbit. I've actually had a science lab. Um, I put it on wheels, rolled it out to the runway, and then put down landing struts so it wouldn't keep running, rolling away. And I was being able to process science there. I didn't get any boost, but I could I could process science though. But when you, the when you say boost, like if you just transmit science from the surface of the moon versus taking that same science, rendezvousing with your station or transferring it to this to the mobile processing lab, regardless of wherever that lab is, you'll get whatever your scientists can do. So if you have a level two scientist, you'll get what a level two is, but a level five scientist will give you more of a boost. Now I've never actually had it any place except for on the surface of Kerbin. Uh, so take Kerbin data out to Joule and bring Julian data back to the lab near Kerbin, for example. Oh, you're saying so if you have different... Uh, all right, so I got to what you're saying. So if you take like Kerbin stuff to Duna and process it, you'll get more. Huh, I didn't know that. All right, well, I never tried that. All right, we need a uh, decoupler. There we go. I'm not a big fan of this little skirt. Eh. That's what I want right there. All right, then for a lander, a real basic lander, I want a tank the same size. These are too small, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Those are too big, so I'm looking for these down here. Here we go. Wow. All right, what if we go with the skinny one? Okay, hang on, I'm still working here. I'm working here. Uh, this'll work. Okay. Save. All right, so what are we gonna use for an engine? Let's set this for Mun. What if we use two terriers? All right, so a terrier has got 60 kilonewtons. It's got less. The swivel, that's a lot. That's way too much. I think we're going to go with a couple of terriers. All right, so um, just to see what this does, let's, oh, that's too many. All right, we're going to be adding some weight too. So I think this will work out. So let's put an engine plate under there. Nope. Change that. No, Andy. Cool. No. Yeah. All right, so first things first, here's the hatch. 
Um, I don't know if I want to get fancy with the ladder yet. I don't think I want to. So this is not an orbiter, so I don't want to really want to wor worry about RCS, but I might want to use RCS to help my trajectory a little bit. So I, if I'm running low on fuel, but let's add that my little mono thing. And I'm just going to arbitrarily put it right there for now. Um, no. Let's put it actually over here. And then we'll put solar panels. One point five, is that from a whoa. Oh, that's a huge crate. I like that better. Burners use fuel. Yeah, the uh uh yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah, I know the the Mono version or the non mono version of, of that. Yeah, I know. So, not those. Those. But they're liquid fuel and oxidizer. Very, very powerful, though. Um, all right, so we're going to load up the science, except for the science junior. We're going to sneak the science junior inside here, I think. So temperature, wait a minute, um, grab goo, temperature, oh, that's weird, oh, wait, hang on, why is the temperature all, oh, wait, 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 we got this thing. Where's the flag? All right. Oh, let's do what we did last time. Let's grab the goo, put it underneath. Like so. All right, and then we have the temperature, seismic. Like our little science wall. Um, don't need that. The magna, magma, magna, whatever. Um, all right, that's all of our science. It's our science side. All right, we need to put some, uh, I think we're going to put an antenna just in case. Why do you need two terriers instead of one? Um, it's too low on the thrust to weight ratio landing on the moon. That's, that's too little. That's better. My, my baseline is six meters per second. No, but. No. no, I want to make sure I break good enough. If I use six as my absolute bare minimum, I know I can on the mun anyways. Too risky for me. Verbal lives matter. Yes, yes, TWR of six. This has got a built-in reaction wheel, doesn't it? Oh, it does. All right, so what are we missing? Anything? We have 
no battery this has got 150 so let's um get some lights on here that's not where the lights are Come here. I, I anywhere from 1.3 to 1.5 for a lifter off of Kerbin, but as a lander going to Minmus, I don't need six. Three is fine, but for the Mun, I like to have a six. It's very, very safe and dependable. Um, I want to try putting a few more lights. Um, hmm. That's going to cause some drag. At a robotics part, I could put on a robotic and swivel it out. Eight strip. Interesting. Um. Just for giggles, let's put this in. So the panel's gonna be in the way there, I guess. Give it a shot. All right, uh, I was gonna put some batteries. Fifty on the electrical. We got our solar panels to recharge. If a Kerbal has to get out, at least he can hop out and uh, EVA. Um, are those lights blocking? I don't know yet. Oh, I'm not using the RCS here. I've got them deactivated. They're disabled. I'm using these instead. I've never been a fan of these. They're too hard to control. <clears throat> Plus, I got the mono propellant drained anyways. So that's our lander. Plenty of fuel to land. But we're gonna use we're gonna use a cheater stage. Is that the best way to say it? I usually use three legs, three stand, more stable. Four and, uh yeah, it, I mean yeah, yeah. I prefer four. You know. Starship's got four. Um Lem had four. You know. With three, if you land on an embankment, 
you have to make sure you get those two. Otherwise, if you have one, it's too overpowering. Well, I always try to land on even surfaces. That's my goal. All right, so let's let's build a stage. So I'm not worried about stage recovery because I don't care about this. And this is what we want to bring back home. We got to shoot. Nothing could break. Uh, so Kerbin, and we want to get from orbit to the Mun. Oh no no no! We're not done. We're not done. Not done. We got to deploy. Goo. So a scientist deploys the goo. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have deployable goo. Why is it asking me if I don't have it? Never mind. I have it. So um, we have to take a. Uh, Uh, we have to take one of those. We need power. All right, so here's where things get complicated. All right, maybe... All right, let's see what we can get aboard here. So we need the goo. That's the goo, right? We need a control center and a solar panel. If an engineer deploys this, you get more power. So each one of these, hang on. Does it say how much power, dry mass? Needs a deployed power unit. Okay, so we're, we're gonna need two of those then. Hang on. It needs a deployed power. Okay, so we need two power units. So if we take a third, oh, we can't do that. All right, that's the absolute bare minimum. Although, hang on a sec. So we need a bare minimum, we need the goo, we need the uh, control center. Then for each one of those, we need a power. Okay. Now I can't put another one in there that overloads it. So we'll take a spare because I, this antenna needs a deployed central command center. It doesn't see, it doesn't say it needs any more power though. So we'll put that there and we'll take another one of these just in case. Yeah, these Kerbals got some work to do and this is on the Mun, right?
Okay. Woo. That was a lot of work. All right, then let's set this for Kerbin Orbit. And let's grab a decoupler. All right, so for our transitional stage, let's try to have like 15, 14 to 1600 delta V just to get us there, to ease this into the landing spot. And then we can kick it off, land with this sort of thing. I never find an even surface always toppling over, hence the three-legged fetish I have. I understand. Um, Herbal Engineer has a surface and I, I you know if I can get 10% that's some that anywhere when I get starting having 15 yeah I get a little I get a little nervous I didn't like that word fetish I'm gonna not I'm not I'm gonna let that uh, be flagged oh so. Uh, my, my channel's flagged as a family-friendly channel. All right, so... Um, I don't know why these tanks are down here. So if we use this and this... And we use a skipper, maybe? Oh, yeah. Digging that. We don't need anything on this. Oh, you know what? Do we need an antenna at all? We're going to have a pilot. Uh, might as well take an antenna. So this should get us to the mun just fine. Probably don't even need that. That's actually pretty darn heavy. What if we did a swivel or bobcat? How much does the bobcat weigh? Two tons versus three tons. Okay. Oops. That would kind of work. and a half i'd rather go with the two ton bobcat all right so let's put a um make it look nicer i don't need all those bobcats Don't have to worry about stage recovery because this is going to impact on the MUN. Um, I guess we could uh, put a set of these. All right, now lifting off. So we want to make sure we get anywhere from 35 to 3,800 delta V. So decoupler again. Uh, if we go with a fuel adapter or not, I don't know. It just means the rocket gets heavier faster. Oh, that's not. What would two mainsails do? Oh, 
I thought I unlocked main cell. Oh, I didn't. Oh. Oh, that's my bad. It's not quite into orbit, though. brains on this or oh, do that Anna The skipper's got a crazy amount of uh, a, a vacuum, too. Why isn't this working? There we go. That was weird. No, I don't want to do that yet. Actually, I think, um, I'm going to get a little ludicrous here.
All right, so first of all, um, hang on, wait, 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 wait. All right, want to, that works. Works, works, all right. Then we want to, okay, whatever. Change of plan. Just put an engine plate there. Mm. So this should be grandparented. This will be grandparented. One twenty one, definitely getting into orbit. Yay. All right, cool. Oh, we're going to get some more Delta V here. Um, so all that's been strutted. That's good. Save that. Uh, we're going to lose a little bit of our thrust here because we're going to do stage recovery. And I need to do it. All right, so first of all, let's add some other stuff here real quick. Seriously? I don't know why it sometimes does that. It's Kerbal. I'll right, take care of that and then let's, um, Seriously, it's twice it did that. Did it just do it again? It did. Why? Stop. Oh, did you like that? I learned that from Dos Valdez. I mean, it's not. Oh, geez. Hang on. Let me finish what I'm doing here. Yeah, he was very much into fashion. So when they allowed you to be able to uh, change this stuff around and whatnot, you know, so you can make it nice and pretty. Yeah, to make sure you can line it, you click it on one side and do a click through and line it up on the other side. And we just did this with this. And that looks pretty good. Looks like it's not quite level. And then I like it to put it in just a little bit so it makes it looks like it's welded there, bolted. Then here. There we go. All right, so that that's good. Now we're going to take these off. Put it right back on so we can do the um, stage recovery. And then we'll have to clean things up again. All right, stage recovery. Not the most exciting part, but this is where we hopefully reclaim some of our cashola. So we're gonna put this on like that. Nice. Put that on. 
so. Cool. All right. Time for some shoots. And stage recovery. Hey, I remembered. All right, so we'll start with the booster. Eighty five percent. Ninety five. All right, we'll go with that. Whoops. Can I have one of those shoots, please? So I don't have to redo that all again. Oh. Uh. Put too much. Yo. Ninety-eight. All right, cool. All right, so now we can grab this and put it back on in uh, symmetry and then all the stage recovery should be dialed in and all that stuff lines up still good now we just got to fix all of our engines we got to take all these shoots and put them all the way up there so 119 off the launch pad all right that's fine But this stage, the main stage, has up to 4,200 delta V in atmosphere, so pretty sure we'll be able to get this into the that where we want it to go. All right, so am I missing anything? We've got stage recovery. We've got some battery on this. We've got an antenna on that. Stage recovery is built into that. This is going to take us to the MUN, and we're going to ditch us on the MUN, land here, grab science on the way, deploy science. I think we're good. Herbal, you're confused. Still confused. It's better. So we need a couple uh, volunteers here. Let's see. We need a pilot. Looks like uh, FX, you're up again. And then we'll take uh, Chris here. And uh, just in case we need an engineer, we're going to take Budman. Why not? Mm. Save. All right, let's put him on the launch pad. Stage seven has less than less than TWR of one. What? Hang on. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put um, separatrons. <sighs> oh. 
Um, so if we do a recover, so I'm going to do a revert light back to the VAB because I made a mistake. Not reverting because of an accident. I made a mistake and I don't want to have to wait for Kerbals to get out of things. So stage seven. Oh, you're right. It does. So this has got, that would be this stage, but these won't be here. So all this, all this weight, this will be fine. There's actually a way to see that too. Um, yeah. So if we say we get up to an altitude of, Oh, but I, I have to take the stage off. I don't want to do that. Uh, Separatrons. Those would be under engines down here at the bottom. Did my Kerbal bite the dust? I don't think so. Um, hang on. Let me let me add this. You might be on vacation or... Hang on. Wait. Maybe you're in the VAB or in the astronaut thingy. Did I, did I add you? I can't remember. Hang on, let me finish this. Oh, this is weird. Uh, okay, we can still do it. So it should be... Oh, that didn't go on in symmetry, did it? There we go. There we go. And... All right, let me check the astronaut complex. What do we want to do here? Let's do this. Like that out there, inside there. Send it up on that little seam. Yeah, that should work. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Check this out. Oh, that might um, be a problem with the RCS, maybe? Wait a minute. What the heck? Did we add... Where's the RCS? Or the Sceptron is... There. Not there. Okay, so it's doing that because of the tank. All right, so hang on. That's better. All right, let's do a save. Um, crew. Uh, yeah, I remember adding you as well. So, uh, pilot, scientist, and engineer. Save. Let's put them on the launch pad. And we'll check the astronaut complex. I need to do a reboot. Oh, dang it. I'll do this on the pad, though. Look at me. I'm all washed out because the sun's out. All right, so, right, so these are Sceptrons, right? So we wanna put those up here, and those are Sceptrons, we wanna put those up there, all right? Double check staging, we got big engines, they go to the ground, right. we're all done right. with the boosters, and we separate, we push them out, we're good, all right, so let's do that. Ah, I'm all blurry too. And let's go to the Space Center. You're probably in the space up. You're up in the uh, station. I gotta. We gotta make an orbiter and bring you back. So if you're not here, oh wait, astronaut complex would let me know, right? Hang on, I'm forgetting how to play this game.
Assigned. Electro. Yep. You're out in space. Now, no one's died yet. You don't see a, a digit underneath that Kerbal yet. So we're going to give a Kerbal a restart here. I'm going to go use the restroom, and we're going to see if we can't do a big Mun mission here. All right, so we'll do that. Go over here and get this going. Yeah, they're uh, deployed, uh, goo, yep. And uh, set that, that, and we'll do that, and I'll be back, guys.
All right, I'm back. I forgot to launch the actual Kerbal game. Sorry about that. I'm bad. I have to wait for that. Oh. All right, let me um get something minimized. And, oh, geez. Kerbal's got my mouse. Kerbal's got my mouse. All right, I got it back. That back. All right. You know, I, I um, dang it, chair won't slide in the right. There we go. I'm looking forward to getting this uh, wall all finished. But beans, I'm not an experienced sheetrock mud guy. It takes me a few more days than normal. Today, I'm knocking down the mud I put up, sanding it down. Got to go get a more bucket of mud, another another bucket of mud. It's just a really cheap joint compound. Get that all done. Give it another day, more sanding, and then I do the big seams. Try not to make it perfect, but at least presentable, because after that's done and sanded, then I paint it, and then the fun stuff comes. Here, here comes the, the stuff I know nothing about, is the whole wall is going to be not whole wall, but I'm going to start off with two cabinets and I want to use French cleats to mount them. I think it's a lot, a lot stronger and I'm not going to be putting hundreds and hundreds of pounds up on in these cabinets it's just to store, you know, glues and stuff, you know, whatever <laughs> goes up in a cabinet. Um, and then I'm going to put counters below those with more cabinets so I get storage. So all this stuff that's just laying around everywhere, I can start putting the stuff away. Um, so the thing is to make a French cleat, it's not hard. You just take some plywood. I'm gonna use three quarter inch stuff. And um, I have to figure out how wide and you just cut it at a 45 degree angle. So you get a negative and positive and that what that's what hangs. But then I got to figure out the spacing between each cleat. And then once I get that, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna start small. I'm gonna do a charging station. So all my, like my, my jigsaw, my two drivers, um, I'm gonna make slots for those. Battery chargers with a hole for the cord to go to a plug. And then I'll start do my first cabinet. I'm excited and in, in, in terrified at the same time. Not not terrified, it's just unknown. Once I get the cleats up and once I get this first thing done, going into my first cabinet, it's gonna be fun. All right, let's get these guys. They're going to the Mun. The same thing should be able to go to Minmus too. Hey, what, running a heater almost, you know, 12 to 14 hours a day sure dries out my skin. All right. All right, so let's double check staging here. We should have those two, those two, and then we got those four. I'm going to paint the walls. Yeah, the cabinets. Um, I watched this one guy, his name's Brad from Build This, Fix This, and when he does it with his plywood, he uses a total boat clear finish. That way it gives it a little bit more extra protection. And also I guess the, it, it makes it a little off tan. So it takes the kind of the white bleach and it kind of get, puts it, it dulls it a little bit. So, but the wall is going to get painted. Cabinet's not going to do anything stain, nothing fancy. I mean, I, I'm just going to try to do straight, you know, woodworking, pocket holes, and learn how to um, counter center so we can hide some of the screws. Not gonna do any uh, dowels or plugs or anything like that. Um, one of the cabinets, one of the cabinets overhead will be, I think we'll have shallow, I guess that's how you say shallow shelves. So I can put some uh, storage for tubes of stuff. So when I close it, it doesn't run into uh, the shelf. 
Um, and then the other one, I want to have uh, just normal shelves, adjustable shelves. And then on the cabinets below, when I finally get around to those, I think I want to put drawers. And then one I want to have would be my first, uh, what do you call, uh, slide full, uh, full extension slides for like uh, sustainers for, uh, you know, fasteners and stuff like that. I don't know if that answered any of your question. All right, so uh, 90 kilometers is good. Good, everything's good. Okay. You had a snack. What do you want? In fact, you had food in your bowl already. We got lift off, yeah. I mean, I haven't been filming me applying mud because it's not very exciting. And again, I'm not a sheetrock person. Not doing it with any sort of style, pizzazz. I'm not even doing it right. I'm just filling in holes. I'm not even feathering anything. After I do the sanding today, like I said, I already see some divots. That be I call them divots just because the mud, the joint compound shrank. I'm gonna have to do uh, another round and maybe another round after that. Then once I'm happy with that, then I'm gonna use, it's called fast mud or quick mud or something like that. It takes like, when, when you mix it with water, it's a powder. When you mix it up, you get the right consistency. Uh, this stuff will set up anywhere, depending upon one you get, is 45 minutes or 20 minutes. I'll probably get the 45 minute stuff. There's our turn. All right, boosters are going bye-bye in about 15 seconds here. And we're gonna see what our thrust to weight ratio drops. We are 13 kilometers up. 15 kilometers. Well, we have a 1.0, so we're still going up, but not as fast. Yeah, doing, um, when I did the uh, the bathroom, it was small areas with a lot of little seams. So doing some mud with either, I tried using mesh tape and that worked okay. But from everything I've read, unless you like really know what you're doing, which I'm not, mesh can be harder to work with. And I can see that, but I've got both. I think mesh, if you do it right, it gives you a little bit stronger uh, seam than tape. And again, I could be, I don't know. Oh, that's not good. But I got to make sure that wherever I put these cleats, we, uh, we have power receptacles. So I want to make sure there's enough space above them. So when I put cabinets, they don't try to cover up the, uh, the power outlet receptacle. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. And then, um, you know, then the next challenge is putting in lower cabinets because I helped with the kitchen one. So I, I, I retained a lot of what we were doing. I don't think the, gra the garage is all that level and I'm not working with a subfloor. I'm working with a concrete pad and then 10 inches of brick before I actually get to the studs. So it was interesting to watch this guy that says whenever he does his cabinets, he does a a uh, two by four platform for the cabinets to sit on and he levels that. So when he puts the cabinets on that, he doesn't have to level the cabinets or they should already be level as long as you make everything square and plumb. All right, cool. That's how I'm gonna do it. We got a lot of fuel left over here. think that was majestic okay all right let's get the panels out so i don't forget and we have an antenna right yeah okay not that it's that important 
And this is dumping stuff into the command pod. Okay. Oh, we got two experiments already. Oh, cool. I may sneeze. How come we're not warping faster? That's interesting. I'm gonna sneeze. Very weird, hang on. So do we already, so we don't have a, and that's at 90 kilometers. So let me um, cancel this. We'll do this with um, like this. 74 Delta V, all right. Experiment one will Kerbal soil their pants and lift off. They did not do that yet. Everyone's good, see, they're fine. All right, we got 928 Delta V left. That's actually enough fuel to get a MUN intercept, but that means that it will impact and we won't get our money back. So I think we're going to deorbit this because we have 1700 Delta V in this stage. <clears throat> so let's switch back to this. Is RCS to pull away? Get these guys in mud. Which is scarier than Minmus, by the way. All right, so land insertion burn or no? So let's do that because for some reason, land it, if I do that, see, it creates another node also, I guess for the insertion, but it's wrong. So if I say no insertion, just pretend we're gonna do a flyby. See, that works just fine. All we have to do is just add a little bit of a Delta V here. Yes, I come in in a retrograde. 40 kilometers is fine. So we'll execute that burn. I got a brand new dooski here. Yeah. Oh, I've got me a BLT sandwich waiting for lunch. I, I I can dig a good BLT sandwich. Let me tell you. What did we just pick up? Oh, yes. I made two last night. We had uh, BLTs and, and Alex makes a really good uh, potato salad. So we had BLTs and potato salad. 
I made two because I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make another one. That way I have one for lunch tomorrow. Put that in the old Ziploc in the fridge, nice and chill. So I'll have that before I go change my duds and start doing all this sanding. I have to cover the washer and dryer with a drop cloth so it doesn't get all dusty. I don't care about everything else getting dusty because eventually, once I start getting things situated, I can start dusting stuff off. It's a process. Oh, no, I'm not even checking. Is this going to work? Turn off RCS. Going for 40. Not quite, huh? There we go. All right. So we still have 912 Delta V. I think it takes what, 300, 310 to get an orbit around the moon, leaving us 500 to help the lander. So that works out. Oh, um, that, okay. Let's get out to here. All right. Oh. All right. I'm assuming. Yep, there it goes. Then we're going to, uh, let's zip to right here. Pick up some more science. Oh, a little bit of stuttering there. All right, let's grab us an orbit. 266. Always a late burn. Now, if we want this deployed science to actually be able to transmit, we don't have a, a real relay around the MUN. So let's put a little thought into this. Um, now let's wait for this to finish. So the MUN, spins the opposite way of Kerbin, right? So if Kerbin is going this way, the MUN is going this way. So if I put something over here, now the sun is over there. Hmm. Thinking if I deploy the stuff here, this stuff is gonna rotate. Let's see what happens. If I go over, all the way over here, Yeah, that's rotating that way. So it's gonna be in the sun. Maybe it'll bounce off these relays here. Okay, so let's try. So we got 646 Delta V. We're gonna to try to plop down here where it's flattish. Flattish is a word, by the way. Ooh, we're gonna fly right over the canal, sweet. Actually, let's just do that manually. A little closer. Kind of ish. All right. Um, so let's get closer 
and we want to land right about there-ish. Hey, there's the, uh, the canyon. That's where the, um, isn't that where the arch is? I think the arch is along here somewhere. We got 416 Delta V left. Let's try here. Where am I landing? So just south of a little tiny crater. That one? Oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. Surface. So there should be two craters. All right, so we're, okay. I hope this works. Let's do a little, a little adjustment here. I want to land out here somewhere. <laughs> All right, um, let's uh, pivot this way and then out that way. Good. Let's go ahead and kick that stage off. Let's uh, enable surface. Right now we're under a landing spot that's not that crooked. All right, it's getting flatter. Well, not no more. Hoodman, slope too deep. I'm good. I should be okay. Well, you know, an 11 degree slope is a lot better than a 35 degree slope. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was my bad, sorry. Okay, let's put these away, just in case I have an accident. to land right on a rock. I'm going to miss the rock. Sweet. Twelve science. 
All right, let's uh, put that away for a sec. Um, you know, so we have an engineer and a scientist. So we're gonna get the engineer out first and have him deploy all the non-scientific non equipment. By the way, that's you, Poodman. Well done, sir. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're fine. All right, so what do we have in this one? All right, so it's been a while. Let's see here. I need to open up your inventory. Oh, Reiki. All right, so put that there. Oh, that won't fit. Um, all right. There we go. All right. Then um, go over here and deploy. Sure, why not? Actually, wait a minute. How do I? Oh, I do it like that. And then space to place. All right. Have another one. Yeah, that's the scientific oh geez oh wait i don't need that no i do i do uh that is there Little tiny baby antenna there. Good job, Poodman. Okay, that the scientist has to roll out. So let's see what we got on the other side. Um, oh, all right. I gain antenna. Can I can you fit both of those? No, of course not. done and that means that leaves this one I have some backup power all right uh how do i rotate it there we go Got a little solar panel on it. I'm guessing those panels are gonna block each other because they're too close together, probably. All right, so let's put this one out a little bit further.
Anchor has that new 757, which evidently uh, is the hot new commodity. I know what I'm doing. I got skills. Got nunchuck skills, ninja skills. All right. So if we go to this thing right here, um, little power needed two. Oh, so there's no experiments. Okay, okay, all right. I don't see it actually. Okay, it's powered and connected. Oops. Enabled, deployed, I guess so. All right. So let's go get your equipment back. Because that'd be embarrassing you get stuck can't do anything. Good job, Pudman. All right, you get back aboard. Oh, okay. We got a scientist, so Antrex got to deploy the goo. Of contraptions on the surface of the moon. <laughs> um, okay. Ooh, look at the camera. Seems kind of creepy. There we go. Now, let's see here. Let's make sure. That says connected and powered. Sweet. Walking very graciously in <laughs> track. All right, so your stuff back. All right. Um, now what we should do is plant a flag. What is your favorite waffle? Oh, Ohio, old, old, old man in Ohio. Thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate that very much. And because you asked for it, waffles. those are my favorite waffles right there. So third herbal landing science deploy, deploy mint. And this was uh Intrex. Woodman. Who is the pilot? Anyone remember who the pilot was? It's really bad. The only thing is I can't edit that again. Can I can take it down. FX. Dang it. All right, so if we go, oh. You, now if you take it down. Oh, I'm on the. Now can you redeploy? All right, good. Third curve. That's not a word. 
Verbal landing, science, deployed. Science, FX, Woodman. Oops. All right. Hey, hey, look at there. All right. Um, oh, you slew in the flag. Nice. Lift off. Easy. 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 Grab it. Get aboard. That's fine. All right. Not bad. All right, let's see if we can get home. I have a real good answer because that's how the Apollo did it. Um, it's how the first time I ever got to the Mun, that's how I did it because I was, I was following, I was, uh, I was playing and watching Dos Valdez and he went in retrograde and I said, okay, let me do that. And, and it costed more fuel. You know, he says it costs more fuel, but if you mess up, at least you get that return back to Kerbin and that might help you. I said, oh, okay, good. Any help I need is great. All right. Yeah, mech jab seems to really grind on the numbers to get that uh, node created. Yeah, uh, and that's how I looked at it too. All right, so where does that put us? Does that put us, I tell you what though, this is more accurate than it used to be, but it's, it sure does 269. Oh, nice, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, make that burn. Do that, do that. Yeah, 17 experiments bring, coming back. Nice. Actually, 
Do we need to bring the science back? Hang on. We're going to do the same on Minmus, but we're going to change the lander. We're going to add more battery, a better antenna. Because I want to start relaying the science to the station. Even though they're not ready for it yet, that way it'll sit there. But we could use the science. Now, hopefully, um, oh, cool. All right. Mm -mm. Okay, let's dip this down to uh, 44. Okay. And um, we only got the one shoot. Set, deployed. See you later. Oh, we got lights. Oh, it's, it's nighttime. It's dark. I'm scared. We don't, oh, that's right. All the science experiments are right here. Wow, look at that. We got more. Sweet. Well, it's a good thing I kept the science on the command pod. Pick up all this atmospheric stuff. Uh oh, all, almost all the bladers gone. That would be the auto science sampler. It's in my mod list. Yeah, I, I even have the dialogue turned off because it keeps, I have to keep clicking it. I don't want to click it anymore. It will do the stock science. I don't know if it'll do anything from a mod. I know there's a mod called uh, Science Rescience, which basically gave you, um, it gave you telemetry science from probe cores. It would do that, but I don't know if it would do the science that came from like the universal storage or anything like that. It's getting cooler. No, no, it's fine. See, it's fine. Oh, okay. It's it's very helpful because if you have a scientist on board, it will reset the experiments so you don't have to keep doing it yourself. You don't have to get the scientists out and do it. So, yeah, I like it. Looks like we have to make another lap around the block, maybe.
Right, it's okay. Yeah, it's kind of my go-to thing that when you get to that, like, in my in my tech tree, when you unlock some of the uh, plane parts, you can actually make that rover <laughs> and having the goo, the temperature and the barometer and driving around and it resetting it, oh, just it speeds up the process so much. All right, let's wait until we get out of the atmosphere. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Well, it seemed like the lander, the redesigned lander was successful. Um, we're going to add some more battery to it. I think we'll put it in the command pod part. That way we can, uh, because after this, I think we want to start transmitting the science to the station. And then once we get the power module up there and we get our two scientists and get them trained up to level five, then they can start cranking out all this new data that we can transmit to KSC. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's gonna be some good stuff. Come on guys. You guys are taking way too long. Way too long. Jerks. All right, here we go. Then we can uh, get over here. I don't know. We'll find out on Tuesday. I don't know if they're adding the mobile lab, but not not on Tuesday, on the 19th, which is Tuesday, right? All right. And yeah, 19th is not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. Should be exciting. That's all I know. I kind of hope there are reasons to do crew and supply missions. Anything beyond like, well, I, I don't think the stock game is gonna have like any sort of life support. Um, I don't know, the only thing I can think of is the same stuff you can do in Kerbal One. You know, if you have a, a station that's kind of like a, a gateway, you know, it's gonna be your Go to place to stop and fill up on fuel or something like that. Are we getting toasty again? A little bit.
Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, that would be cool, yeah. Like, if you collect goo, if you take goo to, to space, can you process the science in space and then land on the mun and then still process it and see what you get? Something like that, yeah. That'd be cool. Getting really warm. Really? Okay. All right, we cooled off. Okay. Each yield taking the brunt of it, which there's none left. <laughs> oh, we well, we passed over the uh, the desert there. Oh, but I don't... Okay, that, that's fine. I know, I passed the pyramid. Twenty experiments, though. Neat. Oh. And, uh, more? Really? Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're racking them up now. As long as we survive. It's a good haul. Kerbalism is, great. Kerbalism is great. Makes you do supply missions, crew rotations, and science time. Science takes time. Uh, yeah, Kaputz TV does that. Oh, we can turn on the lights. Ooh, look at that. And there's our shoot. Oh, oh, we might lose the heat shield. <laughs> I tried Kerbalism when it first came out because it had something about radiation so you had to add radiation shielding which added mass to your craft i like that but it also touched i think i was using uh tac life support so it made some changes to tac life support that i couldn't figure out and then when i read in and talked to linux and well in his chat he said that kerbalism is a good mod but it touches a lot of other mods so you got to know what it's doing for other mods and this is really early on so i went oh, okay i think i'll uh Avoid Kerbalism for right now, because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, that was the heat shield. It's okay. All right, let's get our uh, scientist out. And put him back aboard. If you never ran a Kerbalism playthrough, it's worth doing at least once. Well, this will probably be my last playthrough of Kerbal 1. All right. Recover. Well, I, I'm... I, uh... I don't want to run any planet mods or, or anything like that. And when you start adding parts, Kerbal starts slowing down. The longer your career is, the more lag you get, all the stutters and stuff like that. So 
Nice. Very nice. Woo wee. Look at them big ribbons that they can show off. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. All right. Covered that stage. That's better. Last time it was like in the 60s or something like that. Or 17. Radiation belts, solar storms, crew stress. Uh, oh, that was, um, yeah, okay. That didn't have any shoots on it. Oh, cool. And sweet and nice. So all we're waiting for, finish that one. Waiting for this to kick off and we still have 47 days for those guys. Um, so those will be easy because we have the, uh, that's the Minmus, so we could do the same rocket to Minmus. Oh man, we didn't get any Duna stuff done today because I wanted to unlock some more science. 47 days, yep. Part of the contract. But we also, we unlock the, um, uh, because usually my power module is something very, very basic. It's just a whole bunch of batteries on a girder. But what's important is that we generate enough power because that science training thing sucks a lot of power. So usually and, and uh, usually I go with um, this. Two of these, I think. Um, hang on. So usually I go with two of these and then I put a, or no, I do the short ones. That's right, I do the short ones. Um, with the 2K battery. Yeah, the 2.5. I just stack a bunch of these. If I can get it to work, there we go. And then I do another half and then I make sure I get RCS on it. And then we, of course, there's docking port and stuff like that. But when this is connected, that's not good. That's better. Oh, look at that. The little lights. Nice. Is that also a, uh, oh, they got a power plug you can plug into. That's funny. Um, and then I can put, like usually, oh, this is weird. Huh, might have to, uh... attach it to the girder. Oh, because on, on the stock one, I could attach it to the, uh, the batteries. Like I said, there'll be. Why is that all glimmer climbing? So it'd be something like that. But so imagine a, a, a row of batteries and then uh, solar on top, and bottom. And that's it. That's the power module. Pretty basic. So that's going to be tomorrow, guys. That's it for today. I got a split. I got a bunch of sanding to do. I'm going to get all dirty. Oh, uh, so let's roll some credits here. Wow. Guys, thanks for the new follows. Okay, we'll see you later. Tax, thanks for the resub, man. I appreciate that. I do. That and we'll see you later, microwave. All right. See you guys tomorrow. All right. We'll do some more Kerbalin tomorrow. Have a good one.